Where does a man learn to fly a $20 million aircraft that carries 250 people? He goes to school. Perhaps the best in the world is United Airlines University of the Air in Denver, Colorado, where crews from every part of the globe train daily. If we have problems doing this, then we're going to look at this and see that one inch of movement of this lever... Pilots who are moving up in equipment first learn the unique characteristics of their new plane in lectures. Next are sessions in a non-moving cockpit procedure trainer. In this trainer, the pilot gets a hands-on feel for the exact location of all the instruments and controls of a DC-10. The audio-visual material illustrates procedures for all normal and abnormal flight conditions. And vertical speed is enunciated in the pitch window. I don't see that. The third step is to pilot a moving DC-10 simulator which ingeniously duplicates every characteristic of real flight. Every movement made by the pilot is integrated by a computer with other facts, such as velocity, power, and altitude, to determine the craft's exact response. Instantaneously, electronic commands go to hydraulic arms that provide a sensation of completely free flight to the pilot. At the same time, the computer instructs a mobile carriage to fly a color television camera with a tiny probe over a scale model of terrain, containing hills, freeways, and towns. The camera's image is then projected onto a large screen before the pilot, giving him immediate visual feedback. And you are cleared for takeoff. Close it. Another training flight begins. With a switch, the instructor can simulate any emergency. Every imaginable equipment failure and the procedure for correcting it are listed in the flight engineer's manual. Rather than rely on human memory for so much detail, the crews are trained to follow the book. Simulators reduce real air training time from 18 hours to 8. But more important, they condition crews to cope with emergencies that would be extremely hazardous to recreate in real flight. Okay, we got, we got a pressurization back now, so go ahead. Problem's over, take off your mask. Simulator experiences are so real that there is a 100% transfer of skill to actual flight. In fact, it was simulator technology that made it possible for astronauts to experience a moon landing before their rocket ever left Earth. It's not a gyro, you're out of business. You're out of business. Vectoring you for an ILS approach to runway 26 left. Okay, United 601, the latest Denver weather is 600 foot overcast, 2 miles visibility, altimeter 3001, and the wind is 315 knots. Over the 20 years of this program's existence, thousands of crews from around the world have received similar training here. Simulation provides an economical, safe, and thorough way of building the confidence a pilot needs to handle the enormous responsibility of flying new jets and their priceless human cargo.